So there are four laws of thermodynamics. So let's go through them. The first one we'll talk about is called the zeroth law. All right, the reason it's called the zeroth law and not the first law is because the first law of thermodynamics was discovered earlier than this one. But this one uh, is considered more fundamental, uh, so fundamental that some people don't consider it a law at all. So let's take a look. Let's have a system here. So system one. System one is in thermal equilibrium with system two. I'm sorry, let's call this system A. System B. This idea of thermal equilibrium, sometimes called TE. All right. Thermal equilibrium means that no heat flows between them. If there's a diathermal wall between them, or we like to call that R in thermal contact. I know there's a lot of big words here and this is why it gets to be an issue. So thermal equilibrium happens when no heat is flowing when they're in thermal contact. So thermal contact means heat could flow, there's a diathermal wall between them. So now let's take system, let's get a different color. So no heat is flowing in between there. That means this one, no heat is flowing between this one and this one. They've been in thermal contact, heat's been exchanged, they are now at there's no heat flowing between them. So let's bring another system C. System C is here. So now, A and B are in thermal equilibrium. So let's move A out of the way. Now, if B and C are also in thermal equilibrium, that means that A and C are also in thermal equilibrium. You do this in math class, it's uh, therefore A and C are in thermal equilibrium. What does this mean? It allows us to use temperature as a way to describe uh, a system to show that these two are in thermal equilibrium to each other. If they are at the same temperature, these two are in thermal contact, I read a number. These two are in thermal contact, I read the same number. That means these two, if I touch them together, will be at uh, thermal equilibrium. No heat will flow between them because they are at the same temperature. The zeroth law provides for using temperature to describe systems.